Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a front-facing fish. That is correct, and I will admit I am quite excited to draw a front-facing fish in today's video, or at least to attempt to, because I've never drawn a front-facing fish before, to my memory at least. And so as such, I'm not sure how well this uh, little bit of a drawing is going to go, but I'm going to give it my best shot nonetheless, and I'm going to see just how good or just how bad the front-facing fish that I'm going to be attempting to draw in today's video actually turns out. I'm not really thinking it's going to turn out super well. I didn't look at any reference images before this video, which is probably a bad idea, but it is what it is. I've already committed to making this video, so it's too late now. Today, I'm going to be drawing in my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook, and I'm going to be drawing with my can actually hold it and not drop it, my Pilot G2 0.38 millimeter size pen. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get my sketchbook all opened up to the nearest open page. And now that I'm on the nearest open page, let's go ahead and just put it like that. And now let's go ahead and try to draw a front facing fish. And I'm thinking the way I want to do this is I kind of want to go like i'm thinking i kind of want to do it not super big i'm thinking probably like that and then like that and then want that going back kind of thing no that doesn't quite look right well let's just keep drawing and just i can always draw another one and then i'm gonna want to do And then, oh, this is actually going way better than I thought it was going to. I kind of want it to curve around too, but I'm not really sure how to do that, so. just kind of looks like a piece of sushi with a face on it but this is like creepy as hell a front facing fish is really scary i really like, i'm pretty happy with that i'm pretty <laughs> just gave it a nose i'm actually pretty happy with this um well i've drawn kind of a front facing fish but now i've got to kind of think of how to, how to do the perspective i want because i kind of want to draw like the front facing fish with like the body like kind of like, I want the face to be, like, right here, and then I kind of want the body to stretch around, and then, like, here's the tail right here kind of thing. And I kind of want it to, like, stretch around. But, like, I want it to all fit on a piece of paper, of course. I'm thinking maybe doing it sideways on a piece of paper might work better. So, let's try it again. This time on a uh, piece of paper put up in landscape. So, let's just do it a little bit smaller as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the mouth right there. And the mouth and the other part with the mouth right there. And let's now That does not look right at all. That looks terrible. Hmm. Like, I'm thinking what I need to do is kind of go like, I don't know. Kind of go like. But it's like, I'm trying to, I'm really bad at perspective and this is the issue. So I'm just kind of having to think about this. Hmm. Perspective is not my forte. And not that I really practice perspective much. I'm sure it would be more of my forte than it is right now if I actually practice perspective, but I hate practicing perspective, so I never do. And so it's most certainly not something I'm particularly great at. 
I tend to draw 2D stuff most of the time, which doesn't really matter too much anyway, but, but, in this scenario, I do want some perspective. And so as such, I'm definitely struggling a little bit more so than not. Like, I'm trying to draw, hmm. So if I draw the fish like that, and then maybe it comes across like that, kind of go like that. No. I don't know. Well, let's just go back to this. Let's just try to draw a front-facing fish without any sort of rest of the body that you guys can see or anything like that. So let's do the mouth once again, just like that. And I'm going to go and add teeth now, just like that kind of thing. And so I'm going to go and do the eyes now. Just like that. And then just kind of have the body go around like that. And then since it's just front facing, since you're just facing since you're just facing the front of the fish, I'm thinking the tail would kind of be stretching up right about there. Kind of going down here as well kind of thing. And maybe some like, like fins like that kind of thing. Just like that. Do I want to restart this? It's not that bad. I mean, like, I think this is, I mean, like, this is a front-facing fish. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to draw a front-facing fish kind of like how I wanted to in today's video, I will admit. But technically speaking, this is a front-facing fish. It is facing frontward, and I do have all of the details that I needed to add to the fish. I added on to the fish. I think I maybe need to look at some, like, drawings and some, like, photos of fish. Kind of with some perspective to them. But I am glad that I was still able to draw, well... A fish facing frontwards in today's video. This is a fish face facing facing frontwards, and I'm gonna make it very clear to the viewer after I'm done going over all of the lines once again. Make it very clear to the viewer that this is indeed a fish facing frontwards, that is. So there we go. Let's just go ahead and continue just adding on more layers just to make everything just look a little bit more distinct, a little bit darker and whatnot. I think I'm probably not going to bother to do like the whole body uh, going around kind of perspective in today's video. I think that's just too much for me to really try to figure out on my own. I think I definitely need to look at some photos and kind of maybe uh, trace over some photos and then kind of take it and do it in my own style and kind of figure it out like that kind of thing. But I am still more happy with this drawing that I've done today than not. It's not like my favorite fish drawing by any means, but I do feel like it's more creepy than not and I like that. And I am more happy with this drawing than not as a whole, so I really cannot complain too much, that is for sure. Here we go, and do a little bit over here as well. And don't want to do any more shading. I'm thinking I want to do like a little bit over here. Like that kind of thing. Just a little bit. There we go. Just like that kind of thing. And is there anywhere else I kind of want to thicken up the lines just a little bit? I'm not feeling like the lines need to be thickened up too much. I am thinking there are some other areas, like down here especially. I'm thinking the lines need to be thickened up a little bit. But I think that's just about it. Well, there we go. 
there is the front facing fish. What do I think of this drawing? I actually like it a decent amount. I actually like it a decent amount. I do think I can do better. I do think I can do better, but at the moment, I'm thinking this is probably the best I'm going to get. So I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to leave it at this because I like to leave my drawing videos off on a high point. And I feel like this is probably the high point. So I'm, I'm, leave, I'm leaving it off right here. I'm leaving it off right here. That is for sure. Well, some constructive criticism for myself before the end of the video, though. Um, I would like to make it more clear that these are not just bits sticking out of well, I do suppose there is actually one more one way I can make it more clear, and that is front facing fish. It's an FFF, front facing fish. So I do suppose that is one way I can make it more clear that this is actually a front-facing fish. But without text, I would like to make it more clear that these are not just like spikes coming off the fish and whatnot kind of thing. I would like to make, to make it more clear that they are actually like part of the tail and whatnot kind of thing. I don't know how to do that, but I, I would like to figure out how to do that in the future. That is for sure. Um, I'm pretty happy with the eyes. I'm very happy with how the mouth turned out front-facing as well. I certainly can't complain about that. I really like the shading I did. The shading, I was kind of just playing around with it. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but I actually really like the shading uh, as it turned out kind of thing. And as a whole, I really like the style of this drawing. I really like the sort of creepy style kind of thing. Really big fan of it, that is for sure. And the whole creepy style, it's a style I really enjoy doing. It's a style I really like. And I'm really happy that this turned out this way, that is for sure. So I certainly can't complain. But I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Overall, I'm definitely more happy with this drawing than not, but there are some little bits and stuff that I do want to improve on in the future. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing right here. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my uh, Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.